Bernard is in court to claim £3,000, owed on a loan he made to his son to help pay for driving lessons, a car and insurance. Defendant Oliver says there was no deadline attached to the loan, and as he has had to prioritise other debts, he is unable to pay the money back. What happened, sir? I crashed my car. I presume when you crash your car, pursuant to rules relating to learner drivers, you had learner plates on the car and you were driving with an experienced driver who was insured to take you out? No. Is that the car? Yeah. Are you telling me you were driving alone? Mm-hmm. Without a licence? Without a licence. That's not the end of the story, is it, sir? No. You ended up in court. What else were you convicted for? Pause for a second. There is a charge sheet. Just so that we don't leave anything out, I'd like to see it, please. You were drunk? Yeah. No insurance. You were also using a mobile phone. You were unaccompanied, no learner plates, and you left the vehicle in a dangerous position. Now, in total, how much were you fined? 400 and something. Were you banned from driving? Yeah. For how long? For a year. Now, I want to be clear, sir. You are profoundly lucky. Not just because you survived, you could have been killed. Not just because you could have killed somebody else. You were driving at 70 miles an hour whilst drunk. You left that courtroom with a one-year ban and a minor fine. If I were prosecuting this case, my starting point as a matter of law would be prison. Oh, I understand that, yeah. I am... I don't criticise another court. There may be circumstances. I don't know what happened. I am staggered by the leniency of the sentence. Have you seen those photographs? Not until the other day. What does that do to you, sir? I have to tell you, I'm very troubled by them. Turns my stomach. It's lucky as well, again, he didn't hit somebody else. What's the day really about, as far as you're concerned? It is the money, but it's more of a case of he's got to learn that there are consequences. You know, he can't just forget about something. And probably to remind him about this as well. Because he's now a father himself. He's got to show an example. What would you say in response to Dad, who is today suing him for the full £3,000? I could pay it when I could pay it. He might be right. He did spend some of that money, undoubtedly, on driving lessons. Fine. Do I take money off? What do I do when I'm confronted by you not specifying in writing how much precisely he was to pay back each week when you knew he was in intermittent work. How long does this agreement have? How do I know the money's up to date? Does he have a realistic prospect? Has he in any way got in touch with you to explain what's happened? Has he apologised? Has he said, I will pay you back £20 per week, £10 per not week? Not at all. Why not? I've been in that work. Nevertheless, you've got to do better. But he and has had work in between, Judge. Oh, of course Still he hasn't has. paid it back. Correct? Yeah. Bernard, you're suing your son for £3,000, which is failure to pay for a loan. Oliver is here without a lawyer, which means I have to protect his legal interests and determine whether he has a defence against your application against him, which comes in the form of a written document. I should tell you, at the start of this case, and even now, I am very much considering dismissing your case. Because although you took the trouble to put this in writing, you did so, and it is a criticism, you did so by downloading a document online without reading it. And that document didn't specify how much was to be paid back each month or necessarily by when. I accept he missed the first payment. You're then in a position of saying two things to me. 
Firstly, well, it's enforceable in any event because I got it in writing. You might be right about that. The second thing is, this is where you may have a point. Oliver had intermittent work. He knew that he had to pay instalments and could have done during the period he was in work. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge of of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.